Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding card launch success using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in JP Morgan Chase interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, your team at JP Morgan Chase is soon launching a new credit card. You are asked to estimate how many cards you will issue in the first month. Before you can answer this question, you want to first get some perspective on how well new credit card launches typically do in their first month. Write a query that outputs the name of the credit card and how many cards were issued in its launch month. The launch month is defined as the earliest record in the monthly cards issued table for a given card. Order the results starting from the biggest issued amount. Okay, so basically there is a table called monthly issued cards uh, or monthly cards issued with four different columns: issue name, issue month, issue year, card name, issued amount, and this is an example, right? So here, if you look at right, so Chase Sapphire Reserves, Chase Sapphire Reserve, the earliest entry is January of 2020. One right January of 2021 uh, and the issued amount is 170,000. So for Chase Sapphire Reserve, this is the amount that should be in the output. For Chase Freedom Flex, the earliest entry is of March 2021 and the amount is 65,000. And since 70, 170,000 is more than 65,000, so the first row should be Chase Sapphire Reserve 170k and then Chase Freedom Flex 65k and that should be the output right that is what we have so basically what you can do is from this table called monthly cards issued you can keep all the columns and then partition by so for each of the card name you can arrange by issue year and issue month and try to give a rank so okay this was the first or basically rank one would mean that okay this is the earliest entry and then rank two would be the next entry the next entry the next entry right so that is what we can do and now ranking can be done using three different ways row number rank dense rank in this case i think all the three are you know viable option because we are only concerned with rank equal to one if we are you know arranging by issue year and issue month in ascending order right so you can use any of the three it does not matter what i'm doing is from this table called monthly cards issued let's keep all the columns and then rank right so i am using simply the rank function and since we are using a window function we need to write over clause and for each card we want to find the earliest date right so we write partition by the card name and then you need to order by firstly issue year right so the year of launch and then issue month right in ascending order and then you can alias this as rnk or rank or whatever you want right so let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so here if you see right chase freedom flex uh, uh launched in 2021 january rank one and then next subsequent you know uh, entries and then for chase sapphire reserve november of 2020 right so rank equal to one right so once we have this then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression right so with cte as and this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we can do is from this common table expression we should only keep those rows where rank is equal to one why because we are only considered with the issued amount in the launching month right and rank equal to one by the way we have defined it is basically the launching month of each of the card right so from this common table expression rank equal to one in the output we are only required two different columns right so we do that return card name and the issued amount right and it also says to order by you know issued amount in decreasing manner right so we write order by issued amount in decreasing manner yeah so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so card name and issued amount let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we firstly found out that okay for each of the card what is the you know uh, the launch month and year and the amount issued in that particular launch year month right we ranked it so since the way we are ranking rank equal to one is basically the what is going to be defined as the launch year month of a particular card and then we kept only those rows and you know returned the card name and issued amount because that is what we want in the output and ordered by issued amount in decreasing manner. so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video